Hello, I'm Jimmy from Mouse Hat Games. Logic World is a game with a lot of objects. The bigger you build, the more objects there will be. I want everyone who plays Logic World to be able to build as big as they can dream. To that end, I've been working for the past few weeks on some new, much faster rendering tech. Let's take a look. In front of me are 1000 cubes rendered using classic Unity game objects. Performance is fine here, but if we raise the number to a paltry 4000, the frame rate tanks. That's why in the currently available Logic World release, we use a rendering technique called Combined Meshes. I will switch to that technique up here, and you'll notice that the performance is drastically better. But alas, Combined Meshes also have a limit. If we try to render this funny number of cubes, performance once again slows to a crawl. So let's finally take a look at the new tech I've been working on, GPU instancing. If I switch to this rendering method, BAM! From 5 frames per second to 120. That's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself, and I do. By the way, please appreciate the funky shadow pattern. It took me forever to figure out how to make these bastards cast shadows. And god, I love the geometric patterns that emerge from the gaps in the grid. But of course, Logic World needs to render much more than a grid of identical white cubes. So as a demonstration, observe how my shader can do arbitrary colors, arbitrary rotations, and arbitrary scaling. This scene has become quite beautiful, and I'd love to stay a while and explore it, but with 120 FPS, we can go bigger. I find that standard GPU instancing starts to get slow at around a million cubes. Yeah, you can see that we're down to 40 FPS now. But we can get one last major performance boost by disabling shadows, which of course is an option in the graphic settings of Logic World. With shadows disabled, we can now go up to 4 million cubes with fine performance. And this, finally, is about the limit for how much geometry can be performantly rendered with this method. For now, I've got some ideas to make it even faster. I've still got a lot of work to do to implement this tech into Logic World. This is just a test scene, not part of the actual game. But I'm really, really pleased with the results so far. I think this tech will empower players to build bigger, crazier machines, and I can't wait to see them.